Hey guys, uh, Jake with Landipity here, and today I want to give you a virtual property tour of 10 acres in Duchesne County. Um, you know, with us being based out of Texas, this is just a nice way to give you uh, a better idea of the property, its characteristics, you know, what it has to offer uh, without being able to get out there and show you ourselves. So if you notice here, Salt Lake City right up here, if we follow Highway 40 east out of town, our property is situated just south of Fruitland, uh, right here along the edge of these uh, Uintal Mountains. So, looking at it here, the very first thing you're going to notice, what's that? Guaranteed road access. That is right. Yeah, I tell you, we looked at 30 plus deals this year in Duchesne County, and the biggest deal killer for us was no road access. Um, and this one's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. We had our photographer get out there in his little Ford Focus. So if that tells you anything, you shouldn't have any problem reaching this property. Uh, if you got a truck, if you got an SUV, and especially if you got four wheel drive and uh, these roads are pretty well maintained, you should be able to reach it all year round as well. So zooming in on this thing, let's, uh, let's turn you around here. How you're going to enter your property is from the north side. So looking at this, this side of the ridge, you got about four square acres here. It's relatively flat. Uh, this would be the great spot for you to show up, uh, pull your fifth wheel up here, pull the camper up, set up shop for the weekend. Uh, this is where you're going to build your little cabin. Um, this is the area you're going to use all that for. Uh, so you got four square acres on that side of the ridge. And then on this side here, uh, this would be an awesome spot to just be ATV and, you know, road bike. Um, I've had people ask me uh, if they can, you know, build an orchard, plant a garden, bring livestock in. You know, you want to run some sheep down here or something. This is the perfect spot to do that as well. So, um, on the other side of this ridge, though, guys, what this ridge is going to give you, which I'm pretty excited to show you. Whoa. Where are we going? That's not what I want to show you. Is this right here. Right? Imagine yourself out here on a Saturday morning. You're camping out here with friends and family. You wake up and have your, your Saturday morning cup of joe. And this is what you're looking at. This is your backdrop. How amazing is that going to be? Um, the amazing part about this, guys, is that there's uh, really low light pollution out here. Really low sound pollution. You're far enough away from the city that you're going to have a, a unimpeded view of this right here. Not only because of that, but because of how, the way this property sits with this ridge. You know, you you can't ever lose this view right here. That's going to be um, with you for all times as long as you have this property. So let's zoom back out here. I want to tell you a little bit more. So if you've seen the drone video on our website... Uh, as well as the photos of this property, you're going to notice that the side of this ridge here um, looks like it got burned up. And that's because, well, it did. Uh, just a couple of years ago, unfortunately, I did have some forest fires roll through the area, and this lot was subject to that as well. So on this side of the ridge, your four acres here, the greenery, the native grass, and everything's grown back. Uh, and there is some green stuff coming back already. Some of the sagebrush and things is already coming back in. Um, but the locals are saying it's going to be uh, about five years before you really start seeing trees um, here again and in this area. So it would be an investment as far as that goes. And let me kind of show you what you should expect that to look like. So there's the property, right? I just want to show you south a little bit. This is along the Strawberry River. But this is what you should be looking at. Um, in time. So, like I said, the native grasses and stuff is already grown back. You're going to have sagebrush already uh, come next spring for sure. Give it time, you're going to have trees just like this, guys. It's, it's already a beautiful piece of property, and it's only going to grow uh, in beauty, I think. Um, you know, if it was me and I was out there, I'd be putting a cabin on this thing already. Here's just another view, just a little west of you. You're just going to blow this out of the water, not going to lie. Throw yours up on Google Earth after this and make this dude jealous. Wish he had bought your property. And then, lastly, I just want to kind of give you a little weekend getaway idea. So, here's your property. And located right down here along the Strawberry River. 
pretty cool little place. It's really iconic. It's what they call the Strawberry Pinnacles. Uh, I don't know if you know about these rock formations, but a uh, pretty cool place down here. Uh, people go down here and hang out on the weekends, you know, dip your toes or dip a line in the Strawberry River, hike, drive through here, spend an afternoon, um, you know, show the friends and family uh, what Utah has to offer. This place is gorgeous, guys. Um, and I will tell you, if you're noticing this little property right here, we sold that actually in the last couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, so you could have had one right there on the Strawberry Pinnacles. But, hey, don't let this one pass you by. This is a beauty. Um, if you want some more information on this property for all the details, I'm going to put the link right here for you from this video. Go ahead and click on that. And then from there, um, you know, shoot me an email if you want to find out how to make this yours. Uh, it's just jake at landipity.com. Uh, feel free to give us a call. You can find our information on our website. And, uh, yeah, don't miss out on this beauty.